Okay guys, so I have had a lot of questions from you about um, the scabies treatment that I have been describing on my blog and in my other videos. And a lot of you seem to be a little bit not too sure about how to mix it and how to make it and how many drops you should put of this and that. And so I thought I would make this video to show you exactly how I've done it. Um, this worked really well when I treated my scabies. Um, it took probably about a, about a week or two weeks before I was fully healed and then it took me like maybe another couple of weeks to get rid of all of my symptoms um, because it's quite normal for you to continue to have symptoms after the mites are all dead um, but after four weeks I was pretty much totally clear and I used this exact treatment that I'm going to show you right now so um, if you've read the guide, which I'm going to link uh, below in the notes, um, you'll know what all the ingredients are, but I'll go through them quickly. So in this bowl here, I've got some, I've got two things. I've got some of this coconut oil here. Yeah. So I like to use um, the extra virgin coconut oil, um, but I think honestly, everything's, every type of coconut oil will work. Um, the reason that we use coconut oil is just because it's gentle on the skin. And it's not actually an anti-scabies treatment, okay? So coconut oil doesn't actually kill scabies. Um, we just use it because it's a good carrying oil to, to kind of water down all the other treatments. And it's also very good for your skin and it's very moisturizing for your skin. Um, so that's why we use that. So I've just melted some of that down in here because it, it's, as you can see, it's solid. When you, uh, it's winter here right now, so it's solid in the cold weather. So I've had to melt that down just in the microwave. Um, and the other thing I've got in here is some neem oil. I don't actually have the neem oil uh, bottle with me because it's broken, so I have it stored in like a in just in like a cup now in my fridge. But um, I've poured some of it into here, so this is what it looks like. I've got some neem oil and some coconut oil in here, and I'm just mixing it together. It's about a cup, um, and I'm going to add in a few more things. So the neem oil in here that is an anti scabies treatment. Okay, neem is really effective against all kinds of parasites. It's a natural insecticide, um, and it's one of the main ingredients of this treatment. So um, we've got coconut oil in here, and we've got neem oil in here. So the next thing I'm going to use is this. Okay, This is tea tree oil, um, also been proven in many studies to be very effective against scabies. So we're going to put in quite a lot of this. Okay, It's quite harsh on the skin, so you have to dilute it, but you can see in here we've got about a cup and a half or a cup of oil anyway so it's going to be diluted quite a lot we're going to put about 10 drops so just going to open it up and I don't know if you can see this but it's going to we're going to put about 10 drops there we go and that's about it that's all we need okay so we are going to stir that in Took a little while to come out there. I thought there was nothing left, but there is. It's a little bit in there. Oh, you can smell it. Tea tree oil smells very strong. Okay, so if it does smell very strong and it smells like it's gonna burn your skin or something, don't worry. It's supposed to smell like that. In fact, if it smells strong, it's even better. So I use this brand. It's an Australian brand called Thursday Plantation, but I've used quite a few different brands of tea tree oil. I use it for lots of things, like even if I get cuts and stuff, um, I use this instead of normal antiseptic or Dettol because it's like completely natural and really effective. So I use that. The next thing I'm going to use is this, okay, it's clove oil. So this is just a local brand that I'm using, but you can get whichever brand off Amazon or your health store or iHerb or whatever. I've got some links in the notes if you're not sure where to buy it from. Um, it's always good to get a, an organic one, which this one is. Um, so the thing you should also know about clove oil is it's also really, really strong. Okay, so if you put this on your skin naked, it's going to burn. So that's why, again, we have to dilute it in coconut oil so it doesn't burn your skin. It also smells extremely strong. As soon as I take this off, I know I'm going to... Yep. So we're going to put just maybe about like five or six drops of this. So it's just going to go... Boom, boom. Oh, it's already enough. It's already enough. Mix that up. The last thing I'm going to put in is this. Okay. 
It's neem powder. So I'm just going to take a scoop. Just a heaped scoop like that. And just put that in. And mix that up. And there is actually one other ingredient we can use, which is this turmeric. Okay, so the reason I put in turmeric is because there's a really good study that I'm going to link below, just a little bit enough like that for one day's treatment. But the reason I put in turmeric is because there's a really good study that came out of India that showed if they mixed, I think it was sulfur and turmeric together had a 90 something like 96 or 97 percent cure rate of scabies okay now that's higher than permethrin which is this stuff here I'll talk about that in a minute and that's higher than ivermectin which is the kind of like the the, the pill version of this so sulfur and turmeric two completely natural treatments had a better cure rate for scabies than these prescription treatments so that's why I put turmeric in here so we're going to mix that up now, how do you use this? That's all you need to do, mix it up like this. Now, now this is the body mask, okay, that I talk about. And this, if you smell it, it smells strong, okay? It's gonna, it smells like it's really gonna do something, do something crazy. But all you do now is, I'm not gonna put it all over my body, obviously, because I don't have scabies, but I'm just gonna use my hands as, a, as an example. So what you're gonna do is, let me just get some, <laughs> so I don't make a mess all over my kitchen so you basically just put your hands in like this it's gonna look like that okay and you just rub it all over your skin okay like this okay so your whole body is gonna look like this like imagine that this is my my chest or my whatever I'm just gonna rub it like this all over my body until my entire body is covered okay and then I'm just gonna leave it there so you're probably gonna to have to stand in the shower, put some Netflix on, get your laptop in the bathroom and just and just watch a TV show for half an hour while you're standing in the tub or standing on a towel or standing in the shower. With not with the shower on, obviously, just so you don't drip this green stuff all over your house. And just wait. Okay, it's just like like you're you're covering your body in these anti scabies treatments and you just have to leave it there. Just leave it there for half an hour, forty five minutes, and then you can just get in the shower and wash it off okay and that's going to be really effective at killing scabies um, what I would also recommend is if you have very sensitive skin and even if you don't have sensitive skin and especially if you have children that you're treating to just put about this much on okay so just put maybe like just this much here on your arm and just wait for like 20 minutes or so and just see if you have an, a reaction to it okay and <clears throat> excuse me if you have a reaction to it then probably you, you, you're allergic to one of these ingredients so you can't really do this you're gonna have to try again with something else and see if it's either if it's the clove that you're allergic to or the tea tree oil that you're allergic to or maybe even the, the, the neem that you're allergic to okay but always do a test okay and this is a, something similar that um, hairdressers do right so if a hairdresser is gonna put hair dye on you or if a tattooist is going to put um, a certain, like a, like a blue ink or a purple ink or something, what they do is they usually do a little test on your body and they wait and they see if you react. So this is the same kind of theory, we're going to do that, okay? So so just put this on your, on your skin somewhere like this for, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour, just wait and just see if you have a reaction. If everything's cool, then you can put it all over your body. And this is, this is all like natural stuff so you can put it in your hair you can put it on your face um, obviously keep it out of your eyes and stuff like that and don't eat it but um, you can put it everywhere on your body unlike uh, permethrin which you can't put on your face um, so the reason I've got permethrin here is because you can see how small this tube is right and and uh, the regular prescription treatment for scabies is to put this all over your body the same way that I've just shown you to do with this oil but is to use this small tube and cover your body in this cream and this cream has permethrin in it which is an insecticide it's the same kind of ingredient that you have in like bug sprays and stuff that like if you spray it on a roach and you see the roach starts to fizzle and die this is the same ingredient 
Okay, if you look at a can of bug spray and look at the ingredients, it'll say permethrin on it, which is the same active ingredient in this cream. Um, and so the reason I've got this cream is because this is only one treatment and that the cure rate for this, if you read the studies, is only about 80 to 85%. So that means for every 100 people that try and treat their scabies with this, 15 of them are not going to be cured. Okay, so there's a, there's a chance that that could be you, right? So the reason that I recommend people use this, definitely use this, but you have to use something like this as well, right? Because this takes care of that other 15%. It gives you a chance of um, curing your scabies, even if this isn't 100% effective. Remember, if you... If you treat your scabies and you miss one mite, if one scabies mite manages to survive, it's just going to lay eggs and the whole cycle is going to start all over again. <clears throat> okay, so even if you're taking ivermectin and even if you're taking permethrin, which I recommend and I have guides as well, which I'll, I'll link down below if you need them, um, you should be using this, but you should also be using um, a natural treatment such as this one. Okay, now this one, when I treated my scabies, I used it pretty much every day for a week okay so every evening before I took a shower I would put this on wait for half an hour 45 minutes and then I would take a shower and wash it off right and I did that every night for a week and then in the second week I was doing it almost every night as well okay and that really just makes sure that no scabies mite is gonna have a chance of surviving on your skin all right because this stuff is gonna nuke it completely if you use this and you use this, and you use ivermectin, then those mites have no chance, okay? They are gone. Okay, they're tiny little mites. There's no way they're going to survive clove oil and tea tree oil and turmeric and neem oil and neem powder <coughs> and permethrin and ivermectin, okay? There's no way they can survive all that. It's like you're going to get, it's like you're getting a scabies mite and just putting a blowtorch on it and destroying it okay these are all of the worst possible things you could put on a scabies mite so if it survives then it's gonna be some superhuman kind of scabies mite but i'm sure if you follow these instructions all right i get it guys scabies is horrible i had it i know what it's like it takes over your whole life but if you just treat it sensibly and diligently with the correct treatments this this ivermectin everything's going to be good you're going to be cured in two weeks time okay so all of the instructions if you if you um need prefer a written guide to this i've got it linked below um if you don't know where to buy all the ingredients i've got some links in my guides below um and yeah that's that good luck with your treatment guys if you have any questions just leave a comment um and i really really wish that uh, you guys all are strong and healthy and recovered in no time. So yeah, thanks for watching